thinking man of cinema in many ways and the kind of films you've also acted in say english august or mr and mrs ayer but when you see it on film or in a uh, read about it in a book your education or perception of certain emotions grief or even love perhaps you know some of us may not even experience it to that scale or a desire for instance it changes you perhaps on an individual level but then from that individual level how is it supposed to seep into the societal mindset is I, i've always wondered about that is that something you think about at least personally i can talk of i mean let's look at cultures where you know there have been there's been a deep history of art and literature and uh, and uh, and um, and writing and cinema and compare that with cultures that don't and you know sometimes you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference because some of the incred the most barbaric practices have been practiced in in countries in the former and uh, you can have compassion in countries of the latter so i i really don't know whether it's countries or societies but one thing is for sure the response to a certain stimulus will be very different from a person who has understood and mined the depths of or understood the you know human condition while watching and reading the response will be will be coming from a different space than from somebody who has not been exposed the chances of a person understanding what peace and what compassion and what love can do to further a human kind's evolution is greater from somebody who's been exposed to art this is a slippery slope but there is one piece of research that shows that boys who are exposed to the arts from a very young age uh, turn out to be less macho less uh, less bothered about um, patriarchy and have a greater chance to be more gender uh, uh, gender sensitive and so this is something that schools have 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 uh, looked at uh, quite seriously in america but I actually wanted to spend 5 minutes talking to you a little bit about the work I've done from books. Uh, was that interesting? I mean Okay, so I just thought I'll you know because I if if I may make it it won't take me more than 3 or 4 minutes. Um three of them English August The Japanese Wife and Midnight's Children are what immediately come to mind. So I'm just going to tell you about how different it can be from all three experiences depending on what the book is. Um Generally it's very safe to say that making a movie from a book is is a far better idea because screenplays don't spend that much time that much rigor that much uh, research into a socio cultural milieu into motivations of the characters etc so you're always on a stronger wicket when you're adapting from a book the voices are genuine every everything that the characters seem to be doing seems to be coming from a place well thought out most screenplays don't um in english august the authorial view that in india you can be an indian and yet be very very foreign depending which part of the country you go to the authorial view is echoed from by the character so when i was playing uh, uh, agastya i was actually very happy to read the book and absorb the authorial view because that's the view that he was also understanding and experiencing with um with midnight children the authorial view is there is an authorial view but you can see that here the author is more interested in focusing on a time you get to know about a socio cultural milieu the predicaments characters are put in and so when i played zulfi general zulfikar in um, uh, in um, midnight children for me it was not so much about absorbing the authorial view zulfi was not the vehicle for the authorial view of the of the uh, of the book he was one of the characters that contributed in a vast panoply of things so zulfi for me it was just enough to pick the little hints you got about the character he calls him a little martinet of a man and that's what you have to pick whereas in agastya everything was about agastya you know how he ate how he ran how he walked how he uh, uh, dreamt how he imagined how he worked or didn't work so sometimes uh, you you have to look for whatever you get which might not be in great detail and finally in the japanese wife it's a short story and in short stories most often you propel the events along you're telling a story you can't muse about you know somebody's characterization you can't muse about somebody's personality for for pages and pages so then 
and I found that the most interesting because you had to fill in gaps. You had to find things that he would say about the character to serve the narrative. He flew the kite and his right hand bled. So you knew he was a right-hander. You know what I mean? So it was things like that. And so you began to piece together a character and then you also added your imagination that would plausibly tie point A to point B to point C to point D. And of course, Aparna wrote a wonderful screenplay uh, and, Kunal and, she, and Kunal Basu and she uh, collaborated on it. So three sort of very different, different experiences. I just wanted to sort of share that, that it's, um, it's not always that a book trans for you is to say, oh, read the book, but learn the character, do the film. No, in some, the, the representation of who your character is, you'll have, you'll have to pick different things from different books.